how can we play with these thrown forms that are essentially very symmetrical and very ordered. Um, and so what I began to do was cut things apart and put them back together. So what I'm going to do next with this bowl is I'm going to go ahead and cut off a section of the rim before reattaching it. This is one of my favorite tools, garage sale finds, this old cheese cutter. And I'm going to go ahead and cut through the rim. And I have a little tab of clay here. And I'm going to use that to help keep my rim together once I've cut it open. So I just attach this so it doesn't fall outward. So coming down with the wire cutter, getting the wheel moving again. And you could do a straight line, do any sort of line you like. I'm going to go pick up the two ends of this cut. and just drop this next to me here. So then just to soften that cut edge a little bit, I just gently bevel that softly with my finger. Now coming back to the pot, I'm gonna keep working this part of the bowl. Double checking that I have a nice curve on the inside. Now that I have a little less mass. And I tend to enjoy pinching this rim a little bit between two ribs. It gives it a little bit more variation. So I don't score and slip at this point. The rim and the body of the bowl are of the same consistency. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pick up the rim that I cut off in one solid piece and then we're going to reattach it to the bowl that we have here. So just slowly and gently reattaching the rim here. And then I'll come in with a hard rib on the inside, soft rib on the outside, and just compress these two layers together. So I have a bit of a chamois here attached to a cork. So I just want to clean that edge up a bit and reinforce this seam here on the edge. Some more cleanup to happen here, but I will go ahead and cut this off and let it set before refining some of those seams. <laughs> 